Hey guys, it's AA25 again, and this is my third part of the video. So, after you enable the plugin, what, uh, and you put CTF themes inside your correct directory, correct directory will be, when you get to the root of your memory stick, you click PSP, then theme, and you're going to put the CTF files in there. You should put the one that they give, uh, they give you with the download, because it's a good idea. It's like a test theme, to make sure it works. Oh, wrong one, but you're going to go... To make sure it works, you're going to go see settings, go to theme settings, theme, and you if it worked, you should be able to see all of your CTF themes here. The one I am going to show you if mine worked or not is this one. If it worked, when you click X, you'll get the apply or delete like any other PTF theme like the ones, the official Sony ones. It's going to say you want to override a safe custom theme, blah, blah, blah. Just say yes. Now it's going to reboot the PSP. PlayStation Portable. Yep, that's how it intros. The only bad thing about CTFs is sometimes the boots aren't really good. But anyway, if it works, you're going to have different looking icons and different speeds travel through, different sounds, all that jazz. And if it worked, congratulations. Now you know how to get a CTF thing and how to put the plugin. Now, there's one thing. What? This is why I wanted you guys to install the full version of this plugin. What if you don't want a CTF theme anymore? What about if you just want the original XMB thing? Well, in this video, this part of the video, I'm going to teach you how to do it with just a couple of simple steps. So first, let's go into USB mode. So now I'm in USB mode. Right there. Let's go to the computer now. And this is what I want you to do. Go to just Google any uh, thing and just get any random PTF theme. Like the one there. Like that one. Just a random PTF thing. Mario 380. It doesn't matter uh, what type of PTF thing it is or what name. Just any random PTF thing because it will work. And I'm actually going to do this along with you guys. So I do have a PTF theme already inside my uh, PSP because I was trying to make another one of these original X and B things. But anyway, you'd go. Just do it the easy way with the autoplay. Go down all the way to view files. Now what I'm going to do is easy. This is why I told you guys to make a backup of your flash zero just by doing a normal flash zero connection. Because this is why. So as you see, I have many, many files. Say you want to to make anything. This works for any type of file. This is what you do. I am going to delete this. And second, I'm just going to delete my font. My font. This font folder that's already in here. My VHS folder that's already in there. And this. Because that's not really an original one. Few simple steps to do. First, take your PTF. That's right there. Drag it just into the CXMB file. It's going to be right there. Mario380.ptf Next, what I want you to do is I want you to get your Flash Zero backup. And this is easy. I'll just open another uh, window here. So let me just get my Flash Zero back up. But what you're going to do basically is get your Flash Zero back up. And you're going to put it out here also. So my book. Just going to my external hard drive in here. 
like I said, I put everything in here and organize it. As your backup. So I'm going to copy my whole Flash Zero backup and uh, copy it. Paste it in here. So just pasting my whole backup in here. Now, this is for the original. Um, you do not want to modify any of your Flash Zero things or delete it or else you could brick your PSP, which, you know, wouldn't be a good idea to. So, we'll just wait for this to finish. It'll take about four minutes, five minutes now. Probably even faster. Those things are inaccurate even. But while we're waiting, if you guys are have a slow computer, what you could do while you're waiting is you're going to have this... Uh, text document called conf.txt. If you don't create one now, we should open it. As you're going to see, you're going to have something that says slash PSP slash theme slash the CTF uh, you were using last or whatever CTF you were doing. I want you to change it, the name of this, to the name of your PTF, but keep it dot CTF like it is now. So mine is called, I believe, Mario 380. Yep, it's called Mario 380. Case sensitive people, Mario 380. And it is case, a case sensitive thing. So make sure you write the right uh, stuff. Want to close it. Want to save it. Say yes. Okay. That's another step. Make sure you guys don't forget to do that. Because if you don't do that, you might brick your PSP. This is the only thing in this plugin when creating this that you might be able to break your PSP and I know you guys wouldn't want that. So we'll just wait for this to be finished. But basically, you create that conf.txt uh, with correct name. You put your flash zero backup in there because it has the original XMB files. Original XMB files, which you want because if you don't have that, it's not a good idea. Because it might break your PSP also. So make sure that your Flash Zero backup was before you put a CTF theme, people. So it has the original XMB files. And it is done. So now we just want to close this. And we want to go down back to our PSP here, our lovable PSP here. It's in USB mode now. So exit USB mode and just turn off your PSP. Just or even put in sleep mode even. Oops. Yeah, turn it off. You want to turn it off completely. Now, you want to turn on your PSP. Now I don't know mine went so why mine went so quick like that. Probably because I'm already using the same theme name. But what would happen is that if you uh, turn off your PSP completely, or if you just go to the M33 menu and click Reset Device, which I won't do now, what should happen, what should happen, which didn't happen to mine, I do not know why is that when you turn it on again your memory stick thing would be flashing like crazy now it's flashing like crazy because it is it would be creating the CTF theme after it's done flashing your PSP will turn off don't worry it didn't break it didn't do anything now you would turn on your PSP and when you turn on your PSP you should have the original theme Thank you for watching my three part video. I know it's pretty long, but all my videos are like a couple seconds exceeding 10 minutes. 
and this one's about to too. So um, thanks for watching though. I really appreciate it. Um, any questions? Just comment. Um, my I know my videos aren't clear because I don't really like practice or anything. If there's anything that's not clear, feel free just to ask me and comment or. Um, PM me or something like that. I could give you uh, in my description on my email. Just email me if you have questions too. Alright then. I need to go now or else uh, I'm going to be in trouble with YouTube. Alright then. Bye guys.